Rouge, Louisiana, home of the Bayou Bengals and the stadium called Death Valley since the late 50s. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the UCF Knights, taking on a team from the SEC, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Fielded in the end zone, it's Yates. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. So the UCF Knights will have some work to do after that short return. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Quick step and go. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. From the gun, the running back looking for room. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Knights want to pick up the tempo. Give to the back. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. The run to the right. <laughs> They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. So LSU's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys of the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. They're getting this guy lathered up. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And guys, this can be a great time to look for a big play on second and inches. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Running back searching for a hole. Tackle is made right at the 20-yard line after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Using the quick game. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. How about the mix of play calls on this drive? Three runs, three passes, and now they're in business. And just keeping the defense completely off balance. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, LSU! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The UCF offense back on the field ready to go to work. 
That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Off play action. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass for a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Quick completion on the out. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Knights will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. Out of the shotgun on third down. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Nice move to keep moving. And they'll get enough for the first down, and that's how things will come to a close here in the first quarter. Guys, LSU has the lead here. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Used the play fake, now to throw. It's complete to the left. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. These two conferences have been tied together for years through the Sugar Bowl, a little testiness with the whole Texas-Oklahoma thing, and now the rivalry on the field. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Yeah, and that's back-to-back -back games. This guy's notched the sack. Starting to be a problem. A guy that's diagnosing passes, rushing the passer. Really and it's intercepted! A turnover for the defense. Not a lot of room on the return, but he'd already gotten the most important thing, the ball, and they have it at the 46. Offense getting set for first down. Now the play fake. And the quarterback is snowed under. And no shortage of the big boys coming out of Baton Rouge as LSU's defense in the backfield again. Yeah, you talk about tall, long, athletic, Guys that get after the quarterback, LSU, they typically have a lot of those guys. That's a really fun thing to have when you're a defensive player. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Let's it fly. It's caught downfield. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. Wants to bring it back. Looking everywhere for room to run, but really good coverage, and he'll step out of bounds. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it. Right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. He showed it all there. A little looseness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Off the play fake. Wide open downfield. 
He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Coming after it. He's right on target. At the 45 on his way. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They get him on the ground at the 33, but not before he picks up six. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. Handoff to the lone back. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Working that left side now. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. From the gun. Using his legs to buy some time. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Tigers! Man, this offense has started the season off so good. 1-0 a week ago, right? Now building on it again. Great job putting points on the board. It's still the first half, but this unit looks dialed in. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. UCF, zero. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut into a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And this defense, his head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. It's starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. Grabbed behind the line, it's key. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And that's why, if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the pass. He's looking for an open man on second down. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the upright. He missed it. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. Pocket starts to collapse. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. On the play. Second down coming up. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. 
Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific game from there in Death Valley. The Knights will kick it off to start the second half. The returner will field it and try to do some business. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs to help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right, that pocket has been shaky, and if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick strike complete. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. That completion leaves us with second and medium. They'll run play action. Fires downfield. He's got him wide open. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. LSU getting set on first and ten. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Takes a hit as he fires. Falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down coming. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got his man on the right. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. They want to throw it. Got his man on the outside. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. After getting knocked back, it's second and goal from the four. He makes a grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, Tigers. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Bringing it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quick. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Caught over the middle. It's Woods. 
open runway ahead. At the 20. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, UCF! You've got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that one, you got to get that first score. you got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. you still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them... He hurls one deep down the left side. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. It's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his way. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. Just like to see the quarterback have a clock going off in his head, forcing him to get rid of that football. Can't take a sack on first down and goal to go situation and move your offense backwards. And the D deny them on second and goal. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Touchdown, Tigers! And they take it in for six more points. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Returner's going to try to see what he can get. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably scored pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Grab near the marker. It's Wood. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He's looking to throw it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Now on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Yeah, and unfortunately, this guy's been beat like a drum. He's been hit, sacked a bunch of times already, and another hit right here. I'm, I'm literally looking at my offensive line and be like, dude, I need some more time. you got to protect me better than this. Give me a chance to complete some passes. They're setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. He'll call for the fair catch here. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. just how much fight they've got left in them. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They'll run it from the gun. On the move at the 30. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Man, this, this is a punch to the gut. When you know you're losing, and you 
know you got to get a stop, and you know they're going to run the football, and they still run the football down your throat. It's been that kind of day for this defense. You open a drive like that, and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game and want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. On second down, they'll take to the air. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. I'm not sure this was ever a real decision. They'll go for it on fourth and inches. They'll try it on the ground. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Just had to pick up a few inches on the play, and they do it on fourth down. I mean, literally, fall forward. That's all you have to do is just give me a little bit of space where I can fall forward and you can push him forward. I like it going for it on fourth down most of the time anyways, but definitely on fourth and inches. He looks that one in nicely. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position. And here in the fourth quarter with the big lead, he's still taking shots. Brought down at the 21-yard line, a 15-yard pickup, and they are in prime position to get points now. LSU with the first and 10 here. They'll run it from the gun. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds. Cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. And into the end zone. Touchdown, LSU! And the beatdown has ensued. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. And the extra point sails through, and they have a 35-7 lead. LSU, 35, UCF. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Defense. The offense needed something, just anything, to give them just a little breathing room, and the defense provided it with that penalty. From the gun. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Got it behind the line. It's Woods. Makes the catch and he's brought down. Second down here and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Wants to fire on second down. He caught it! And he'll step out of bounds just short of the goal line. Almost a touchdown, but not in there yet. The Knights have it in scoring position on first and goal. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Swings it out to his running back. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. 
Nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. North Texas has the lead right now. The good folks in Denton have been buzzing all week. But this game is hardly over. There is time left on that clock. They're up by four over FIU. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. And how about that one? Devin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The handoff keep working on that clock. Finally pulled down, but not before, moving the chains for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. they got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up it, up it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. First down here for the offense. The give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, keep the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they've built this lead. They've had a great day today. Getting some heat. Got a big paw on it and the tip drill pick. Looking for more room. Pass to 30. The 10. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, UCF! And this defense has had a rough day, but how about this play? Breaking on the football, making the pick, taking it to the house, maybe build some momentum for some future games. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 35-21. Time is against them, still down by two scores, but they'll line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. From the gun, the ground game. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Timeout on the field and four ticks left to go. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. He's looking for a man on second down. He's got it down the left. Takes it into the end zone for the touchdown on the final play. The denouement. The epilogue. The finishing touch. I don't think these two are going to be exchanging holiday greetings this year after this game. No, and I tell you what, we've seen a lot of cool handshakes where you're getting fired up and coaches are getting after each other. We might we'll get a little bit of that there. You can take a knee. You can run the clock out. But they chose not to, so deal with it. Now this team has consecutive wins, and when you start expecting to find ways to win games and you expect that you'll perform well enough to do so, it, it, that's really hard to stop. It's a mindset, Reese. This team has it right now. You can tell their players trust each other. 
big situations arise in games, they're looking at each other in the huddle on the